Hey everybody, it's Mike. Welcome back to the channel. So, welcome back to the tailgate too. Back to the tailgate again. Might as well just make this a series. Uh, but anyway, um, Sable Bermudana. Uh, decided to go with uh, more sables. These are kind of, I'm kind of all over the place with these seedlings. I was going to do all the sable ones at once, you know, back to back, but I'm just kind of randomly picking these at this point. But uh, so this is a palm I've been growing pretty much since, uh, you know, pretty much as long as the Sable Brazoria that I did the video on a couple couple videos ago, so about four or five years. Um, now the palm that I got the seeds from was at a garden at a university and it was mislabeled as a Brahia Armada and these are totally not Brahia Armada. And um, I'll uh, go ahead and link a tab up in the corner of this video to an older video I did of this one here called uh, What is this Palm Seedling? And in that video, I do have pictures of the mother palm. So you will be able to see a full grown uh, version of these um, and actually the actual palm I got the seeds off of. So uh, if you're interested, check that out and click on that tab. But uh, yeah, just doing a little update on these. Um, so one of the things I have found that differentiates these from the other sables as far as the transplanting goes is that uh, when I separated all these from the community pot, all these had originally come up in this pot and I separated them all out and then just replanted that one back in there. Um, out of all the sables I'm growing from seed and have, have had to separate in community pots, these took the least amount of root shock. Um, I lost very few of these from the transplant, which was very surprising because they're in sables are uh, pretty sensitive with their roots. Um, but uh, I will say that uh, overall they are pretty much about on par with the rest of my sable seedlings as far as the cold hardiness, um, as far as the damage they take in the winter, they kind of wilt a little bit, they start looking a little sickly like these. These are actually, um, these are gonna get transplanted. I already started the transplanting process. These here are already in half gallons. About three or four weeks ago I did that. And as you can tell, they're already a little bit bigger and they got nice color to them. So I think once I get these into the half gallon pots this weekend, um, they'll start perking up. I'm pretty sure they'll start perking up. Um, so uh, yeah, really, really cool palms. Um, if you see them, you know, grown Bermudana, Sable Bermudana, they're, they're actually really nice palms. And um, even though these kind of look like the Brazoria seedlings, um, the mother palm had a much uh, thinner trunk and you know, not as big of uh, fronds but still had some cool blue-green fronds to it. So uh, yeah, it'll be fun to watch these grow and um, you know, they, they should do fine. This is uh, zone eight, as I mentioned before, zone eight, subtropical East Texas here. So they love the humidity, they love the heat and they do actually very well in uh, cooler climates too, as long as, um, as long as they have moisture. And uh, you know, if the summers aren't very hot though, if you're up north or something, they just won't grow as fast. And they're already slow growing to begin with. So um, just a little word of caution on that. But uh, yeah, as far as this goes, uh, that's the update on the Sable Bermudana. So um, I will be doing a full update once I get everything transplanted. I got about four or five more trays of these square pots. I have to upsize into those half gallon pots. And once I do that, I will do a full update on the whole collection again. We'll uh, end a summer update for you guys so you can see everything again. So, um, but anyway, that's about it for this update. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. As always, thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next one.